Hmm. That's funny. The duck just stays on the water and doesn't sink. Hmm. What if I try with this? <gasps> What did you do that for? My duckies were swimming in a nice line, and your waves ruined everything! Sorry, Lulu. I was just wondering why my car sinks, but your duck floats so easily. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe because my ducks look like real ducks, and real ducks can swim, even baby ones. So, the toy ducks can too. Hmm, maybe you're right. But I still don't know why some toys float and others don't. Hey kids, what are you talking about this time? I have a question. Kiko brought his toy car into the bath and now he's shocked that it sings. Obviously, it's not a tiny duck. <laughs> now hold on, Lulu. What about ships that float across oceans? They're definitely not tiny. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Daddy once showed me pictures of ships, and they were huge. Hmm, you're right. I didn't think of that. So, how do ships float without sinking? It's all about the shape of the ship, or the boat. It's built in a special way so that there's air inside, and that air helps it stay afloat. Huh? But what does air have to do with it? There's air all around us. Tell me this. Is there air underwater? Ah, nope. No air down there. I checked. Exactly. <laughs> we know there's no air underwater. And why is that? Why? Because water is much denser and pushes the air out. You can see this if you blow bubbles underwater. They always float up. Understand? Yeah! The same thing happens with a ship. It's like a big bubble. It holds air, and the water pushes it back up. Wow! So ships have air inside, like balloons? Sort of. But it's also about the shape. A white flat shape, like a bowl or a boat, spreads the water out and kind of sits on it. The water pushes it up from underneath. So even a heavy thing can float if it has the right shape, like a ship? Exactly right, yes. This is how Archimedes' law works. Thanks, Mommy. That's so cool. Lulu, let's build our own ship. Let's try. Oh, but do you know how? I'm sure we can figure it out. What's taking so long? I thought we were gonna make our own boat. Hold on, I almost got it. But you didn't say what you're looking for. Huh? It's broken. I thought my toy boat would be perfect. I've never even floated it before. No time to give up. All right, here we go. Let's sail. Yay, do it! <gasps> it sank! <laughs> that was a great idea, kids. But this boat just isn't shaped right for floating. The mast is too heavy. It makes it tip and sink. What if we just take off the mast? Oh man, it didn't work, Lulu. That's okay. Now you've learned something new. Hey, what's going on in here? Here, watch this. Wait, oh, I was still reading that article. Even paper, if shaped just right, can float. Wow! That's like magic! You're the best, Mummy! Will you teach us how to make those? Of course, Kiko. Let's do origami. Yay! Ugh. <sighs> 
finally, I can finish reading. Oh hey! There's an article about famous ships right here! Nice.